Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. There are some recent updates in Iraq which will help in strengthening Iraqi dinar and will lead to Iraqi dinar evaluation. So let's get started. Status of the RV in today's news There is a very condescending article about the Iraqi dinar. This article only shows us once again the currency manipulation that is going on with the IQD. Let me explain this to you a little better. Define condescending, having or showing a feeling of patronizing superiority. I find it amazing how the news media in Iraq tries to spin and even justify a suppressed rate of the IQD. On one hand they say the IQD for Iraq is only topped by the Kuwaiti dinar a broken bar then to say Iraq is among the strongest currencies in the world. But we know the rate is 1320 IQD equals 1 US dollar or about 1 six of a penny. So, do you think they are patronizing the IQD? Then the article talks about the factor for determining the strength of a currency. They go on to say it is determined based on various factors, including interest rate differences in terms of trade. Really is this true? But Kuwaiti has very little trade and does not have nearly the assets that Iraq has such as oil reserves, oil revenues, gold, agriculture and other precious much needed minerals for industry. The CBI just announced the issuance of bonds at 8.5% interest rate with zero risk. Did you hear me, I said zero risk. Even foreign investment is now flocking to Iraq. Last Thursday, the financial advisor to the Prime Minister, Mazhar Mohammad Saleh, revealed that Iraq is among the countries in the safe range in terms of debt repayment according to international standards in calculating the ability of the national economy. Looks to me like Iraq is much much better off than Kuwait and even almost any of the Middle Eastern countries in the region. Iraq has gained up as the second largest oil producer in the region only to Saudi Arabia. So what is Saudi's currency values at? It is rated at 1 SRI equals 0.26 cents USD. So, is the IQD being suppressed for political reasons? Why is the KWD currency rate not better reflective of what they have? It should be way below one six of a penny even compared to the IQD, if the IQD was in fact determined correctly according to the true assets and not playing a political game with it. So should the KWD then be much lower, but we all know it's not. The US is playing a game with Iraq and the IQD and most importantly, it's the people its people are suffering from it the most. War sanctions are over and it's time to give them back their currency along with their dignity. But what Kuwaiti does have are permanent US military bases, air bases for drones and stockpiles of weapons and ammo. Saudi also made a deal under Trump to also sell oil in US dollars. But now they are wavering from this deal and joining up with BRICS. This too is what the US wants from Iraq, military bases. But Iraq wants their sovereignty. Can they make a deal to have both? But any deal will have to contend with the Iranians who are leading this campaign to rid Iraq of the American forces. Of they don't want American forces in Iraq. They are the only thing standing in their way of making Iraq as their puppet state. I showed you multiple articles as proof that the DFI fund is now already closed and that Iraq is now working on the return of any remaining balance of these funds back to Iraq. Where will they park all this money? They have not yet told us, but they did in the past talk about establishing a series of sovereign funds for investment purposes, the interest to which will be used is to pay for salaries, social programs and supplement the budget. The real intent and use of the UN sanctioned DFI fund was part of the sanctions put on Iraq and so this is why the US was forced to end this procedure now. But it wasn't going to end without a fight and so this Prime Minister al Sudani brought this to the table and forced the issue along with support of the Ali Alak the CBI director. This is huge news for us investors and was yet another move to full sovereignty of Iraq. 
the Iraqi dinar is also going through the same fight to regain its freedom too from the sanctions and Iraq is winning this battle and eventually it too will be liberated, as with the DFI fund. The outcry from Iraq is getting louder and louder and soon this news of the US holding back a liberated country from its legal tangible sanctions relief will be made public for all to see. I quote from one of today's articles. Approximately 1,000 ATMs will be installed across all provinces, districts, and areas of the Kurdistan region of Iraq, KRG, by the end of 2024. We have been told years ago that the ATMs are pivotal to the project to delete the zeros. I quote from another article in today's news that the central bank announced the launch of financial bonds with the highest annual interest, at 8.5% as well as deposits in the private banking sector. According to economist Manuel Obedi, the aim of these bonds is to attract and encourage capital outside the banking system through high interest rates to enter the banking sector. Today, Thursday, Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al-Sudani chaired the sixth meeting of the Supreme Committee for the Development Road during which the latest executive steps were followed up and the procedures related to the project continued to be completed, and ways to resolve controls and instructions related to customs, tax and transit tariffs were discussed, within project management and operation system. Things are really moving ahead now. So now, we are just waiting for the giant leap when the CBI gives them the second rate change. This should bring in much if not all the remaining capital outside the banking system back to the banks that need it desperately for the economy to grow. This second rate change should coincide with the project to delete the zeros. Let's keep our fingers crossed and pray.